with a quick right hand and then eating one with Shalura Jones. Yeah, Shalura Jones got a smile on her face though, so I don't know if she's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a smile. Every time she gets hit, she smiles more. I, I knew she was crazy. Well, she did, she said it was the best nine minutes of her life despite the beating she took. And she is eating a couple punches here. You can hear her coaches asking her to, to take the shot and try and work the takedown. And on the other side of the cage, we've got Kayla Matten throwing punches, although she's eaten a couple as well. With uh, And you can see the takedown attempt now coming from Shalur Jones, taking a little bit of punishment and trying to defend it with a, trying for the guillotine choke, but not succeeding was Kayla Matten. Yeah, here's, a, here's the thing that, that a lot of people need to, to realize. It's, it's, it's set up that every time somebody t tries to take you down, that you try and guillotine choke them. And that's not the way it needs to be. When you take it down, you need to defend. Defend first, you need to whizzer and get your legs back. When someone attacks your legs, but everybody's going to be guillotine choke, and that's not what needs to happen. You end up getting taken down, and nine, 99 times out of 100, you don't end in a good position. Knees coming now from Shalur Jones on top as she continues to work. A minute and a half left in round number one, trying to push Kayla Matten's arm across her own neck. Matten is secure, gets out of that. But again, a lot of work from on top, elbows and knees coming from Shalur Jones to Kayla Matten. And keeping busy and making an impression for the judges. You see a judge right there outside of the cage staring down at the action and Shalur Jones staying busy on top. We have only got a minute left. Again, only three minute rounds in the amateur in the amateur go. So as we look at our uh, featurefights.ca clock there, we can see that it takes a very short time to be able to make an impression to the judges. And again, more strikes coming from everywhere to everywhere from Shalur Jones. Kayla Matten trying to create some space underneath, but it has been unable to do so thus far. Although it looks like she may get into a half guard here, tried to get around. And Shalur Jones, very nice to, to dogfight back into side control and continue to do damage from there with just 25 seconds remaining in round number one. This is a very much improved Shalur Jones. Yeah. And the one thing that, uh, that she's doing is she's throwing all of her effort into these elbows and these punches. Now my concern is that if, because you're not gonna be able to end the fight with, with elbows to the leg, or you, you at least hope that they're not able to end the fight that way, you, you end up wasting a lot of energy putting that much in there as we get set for round number two here in our third fight of the night at the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship number 22, live from the Century Casino in Calgary, Alberta, and big punches being thrown now by Matten, but again, Jones just keeps coming forward. Yeah, and because she's not afraid of these punches, she's able to come in from a lot closer up to to get these takedowns and securing another good takedown, but again to the guillotine choke uh, and uh, trying to work it is Kayla Matten from MMA University, but slipping out is Shiller Jones, and now she's on top in the dominant position. Jones works her way towards side control, but Matten doing a nice job of getting the guard back on. Matten temporarily with wrist control down low, but Jones does break free for a couple more shots to the ribs. And drags her opponent over to the cage. And putting that head up against the cage to prevent the ability to wall walk. It also gives you so that you can push into your opponent and your opponent now can't go anywhere. So when you hit your opponent, there's no space. They just go up against that cage, makes your striking even especially more dynamic. Jones needs to be careful here because trying to put over the foot is Kayla Matten. And with the female division, of more, more so than the men, females have natural flexibility. So those positions where, where the men are able to not necessarily do things like going into uh, to mission control and using a rubber guard, uh, that's something that's very easy for, for female fighters. And you, you see the advanced flexibility. So it's always dangerous in a submission game because sometimes those, those limbs can come out of nowhere and uh, able to get you in positions that you don't want to be in. Jones continuing to work from the top as Kayla Matten tries to find her way out, but just a minute left. And now again, 
The punch is going to come to the midsection and torso of Matten again. No strikes to the head of a downed opponent. Trying to flip out of the guard even though she was postured up. Does end up now working towards side control. And you'll see the jiu-jitsu fighters here in the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship working for side control rather than the mount once they've had a couple fights because they realize you're able to do more from side control in a submission base than you're able to do from the mount. Well, and it's also a striking base because when you're in the mount, pretty much the only thing you can do is an arm bar. Uh, other than that, any other technique you do, you end up ending up too high and it's a dangerous position for you to lose it. Inside control, there's so much more to do and you can strike there, you can elbow, and you don't have to worry about the head. You end up targeting that far side midsection uh, instead of the head. Trying for an arm bar here and now ending up on top and trying for a choke with the shin there. Shalura Jones doing a good job of staying on top. A nice sprawl there to stay on top and continuing to throw punches from the top and work from the top. A very solid performance here in round number two. Matten in the blue trunks, Jones in the black trunks. Trying a jumping Superman punch there. And a big hand coming and a smile on the face of Shalura Jones after taking that punch. She will take those punches all day, it seems, if that means she can keep coming forward. And Kayla Matten throwing some big right hands, and one of them connecting early, but again, finds herself back up against the cage. And once they've gotten this close, it's been Shaler Jones's fight. Well, and Shaler Jones does have a bit of a weight advantage when it comes to, uh, you know, when you, you talk about the difference between heavyweights and uh, 265 as compared to, you know, 258, that's not a big difference, seven pounds. But when you're 110 pounds and you're seven pounds heavier than your opponent, that's a big difference. You're, you're, you're looking at percentage points that aren't in the decimals. And, uh, and you can see when they're side by side that Shaler Jones is the much bigger fighter. Jones now working the side control again, trying to isolate an arm, maybe looking for a submission attempt. Good defense on the bottom from Kayla Matten, but not enough defense to keep her moving as she almost finds herself now in a bit of a crucifix position. Again, not a big advantage to Schiller Jones to have her in a crucifix, but for strikes to the body. But again, those can add up over the course of the fight, and it certainly looks good in the eyes of the judges when you're continually landing strikes to undefended parts of the body. Absolutely, as they, uh, they continue to go forward here, uh, Ground dominance here by Shalura Jones, and uh, I don't think at this point Kayla Matten has an answer to be able to get off of her back at this point. So something to go to the gym and work for, maybe work some sweeps and uh, being able to get uh, get on top. Up high now is Shalura Jones, and you're going to look to her trying to isolate an arm and possibly go for a arm bar here. Well, knowing that the the time she spent in the gym, Jones is uh, probably looking for a finish here so that she can get that finish. But again, with 45 seconds left in round number three, Kayla Matten really, uh, at this point, lying down and not doing much in the way of, uh, I'm not gonna say she's not intelligently defending, but she's certainly not making any moves to advance her position and, and, and change her fate here on the bottom of this, uh, the bottom of this fight. Yeah, and uh, credit credit to Shalur Jones uh, here for being able to be in such good control. We're down to our last couple seconds uh, in the fight, and uh, there's the 10 second clock. And it looks like Shalur Jones, again, barring any uh, odd decisions here, should take the victory in this one as she controlled all three rounds, continuing to land elbows and being busy.